Hello, everybody. My name is... Oh, I have a follower thing up there. Hello, everybody. My name is Vexilian, and I'm going to be reacting to one thing that I've been looking forward to is more Mitch Jones music. Mitch Jones has a new EP uh, out uh, called If I Could Go Back. There's... Ooh, Perfect Vibe, which I assume to be on here, and Now That You're Gone. Those two songs are here. And the one song that we've heard in a preview of this is Time Machine. I'm assuming it's the intro. Uh, if I had a time machine, would you come with me? Would you come with me? Anyways, I'm not a singer, but that's pretty much what we've been shown so far. And, I, yeah, I am excited for this. Uh, and you'll be able to hear my uh, what my thoughts are from this. I'm assuming I'm going to really like it because I really liked the singles and the preview for Time Machine. Anyways, enough talking. Time Machine, track one. <laughs> These are going to be really easy to sing along with, so that's that's one thing that I really like about this. Good production. I time machine to fuck with all the time between, cause time feels like an enemy, I've lost so many clothes to me. Yeah, 2000 as a scene, I lost it all so carelessly, I'll have to rewrite history, cause fuck my reality. I need to build a time machine to take me back, but I know I can't. Mitch can sing. I really like the guitar that's played in this song. I I'm assuming this is Callie. Call up. Yeah, I was thinking of Callie. Yeah, it just goes full on rock. I mean, it's all, it was already rock, but this. Yeah. Dude, I want a drum to this song. Dude, good job on the on the guitar. All the background stuff with the with the reverb and the, de the delay, uh, panning left and right. Well, mainly it's just on one ear, but the. I like that there's layers to the vocals as well. That's a really good first track. I really like that. I really like that. It's really catchy. You can sing the chorus really simple. It's uh, definitely being in my playlist. I love that a ton. I love that a ton. And... It is really good. Yeah, I don't have anything negative to say about that song. It's catchy, a simple chorus that is, f it's fun to sing. I, a little bit sang along to this song and it's a, it's a good song. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything to complain about. I think it's a really good, uh, it's a strong opener. It's not too fast. It's not too energetic it's it's perfect where it belongs it's uh really well done on to happy now it's not the zed song i'm assuming if it does a cover of it i wouldn't be, be too mad <laughs> uh no i'm not too mad stupid joke anyways happy now miss jones most likely having kala as well kala kala happy now Track two. Pretty fast tremolo. I 
I like the drums. Mainly that snare that's in the background. Simply! Simply is in this? Because <laughs> he's not even tagged. He has his own Spotify page as well. Dude, this is hard. <laughs> Dude, I really love this. I love how the drums are pretty drum and bass. I mean, it's not as fast as drum and bass, but that's how I always see this uh, some type of beat. Trap hi hats really work right here. Dude, the drums really crisp. What? I, okay, I'm gonna post. Right here, it sounds like a mix of having it try to be sounding like it's, it's it sounds like it's trying to have a crowd voice it probably is but it's not well in the mix if it's not in there and it's just me thinking that's how it should be i don't know it sounds like that's what it's trying to be and like having a crowd in the back of a room like say my mic is right here if i was in the back of the room with some friends just uh, yelling the lyrics without any really pitch. That's this is what I would do. I would, I would put it right here. It would work really well. Um, I just think there's reverb. Uh, uh, with more of the, it's more of a wet reverb. Let me just show my monitor actually. Okay, I have Ableton up. Uh, let me just bring in just a random sample that I find on Splice. Tell me the truth. Some random vocal I have. Uh, if I were to put uh, reverb on this. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. I don't have. I don't know how to sing. Just saying. Um, if I do that, and then I put the. Tell me the truth. But. You would kind of just like mess around. Tell me the truth. And it sounds more in the background. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. Tell me you kind of have this going on. I, uh, my example isn't really a, that great compared to what is going on in the song. Uh, let me just go back actually. I really love this chorus right here. It doesn't really sound what I was thinking at first, but that's what I'm kind of thinking. My example isn't really the best here. Um, I think I just heard it wrong, or just how I would make it sound more like a crowd or in the background doing something. Tell me the truth. If you wanted to, if you produce music and you just learn something, you're welcome. Uh, it's not the greatest example of what I was thinking that I was hearing. I really like this chorus. Uh, it really works with this fast paced drum and bass ish uh, drum beat with the guitar. Guitar is, I feel like it's gonna l like go together throughout the whole uh, whole EP, pretty like similar, and that works really well because it sounds nice. Just the chorus, just whole chords with distortion. Love it. 
Yeah, and then they're crashing and just like the last song. Really good song. Third song, no in between. Man, I wish that intro dragged itself, like put itself into the actual song more than just having it be a some intro sound into trap beat. I wish it was just like actually in the actual song. Like if that had rhythm, it kind of sounded like it had rhythm, but if that was in the background, that would work really well. That's just what I would like. I swear. I hate that I still feel this way My gets the Myself out of this haze just to show up. Everybody ask if I'm okay, and I don't know. It's why I make the play for away. Yeah, that's not my favorite snare, but I can hear what he's doing. Get a live sound snare. Yeah, that one works. If I make just a simple drum beat. So there's okay, now that I have this beat. Also, let me put a limiter since I hear a limiter in their music. I mean, I, I should I should do that anyways. But anyways, they have a limiter in their song, and they would, and then they would have a compressor, and they would just put up the ratio and turn down the thrash. It's mainly with a snare that I hear it. You can really hear it with this. Uh, you can hear the the really just punch of it when the snare actually sounds. I don't know if all the drums are programmed in the in this EP, but this is what I'm hearing where the snare is like it's not like compressed it's not compressed like this where it's just awful sounding that would work for a snare if it's short I'm actually learning something and yeah okay I learned that I can just turn up the release if I have a really compressed snare it would make it sound similar to what 21 Pilots does with their recent snare sound where it's really short it's really there I don't know yeah I spent a lot of time on this for no reason yet again I have this probably useless piece of hi-hat I don't know this beat I was trying to show the compression of the snare. Hey, I was raised, reliving through the therapy feels like a mistake. And also another thing that you can do if you're trying to have that compressed sound where it really pops, maybe EQ it. One thing that really helps for like dubstep is having bass turned up in your snare. If you're trying to have a uh, but you don't want to have the kick there you can turn up the because it sounds probably strange together you can turn up the bass for the snare I would EQ it do this and also bring up highs probably depending on the snare uh, the highs probably are too low and the same with the kick you want to bring up the lows but make sure that the mids are not as loud as 
what they were if you bring this up because it will make it muddy. But you should uh, EQ most, EQ everything pretty much. One thing that also helps is making sure that hi-hats have room to breathe. Around like seven, seven kh z kilohertz. Uh, probably, that's probably what it is. Around that, around this area. Just turn it down a little bit. Uh, I'll just put it around seven and six kilohertz. I'm assuming it's kilo. I don't know how to read that, but. I mean, the hi-hats are loud. This isn't my best, uh, my best area to show what I'm trying to talk about. I might as well go to a project file that I'm doing. My hi-hat, uh, this shaker, it's all high-end. It's not low-end, even though there's barely any, if any. There's barely any low-end. And with a kick, get rid of more of the high-end. I mean, this, uh, this example is a bit different because it's dubstep, uh, drum step to be exact uh, but this is just a filter so don't uh, take this into this it's just this uh, but you have the hi-hats adding the high end Just the hi hats get more breathing room if they're if, the, if you give like let me just activate all the I mean it's it doesn't work in all occasions but because this pluck it sounds better with all the high end but usually I don't know about usually but. A lot of the time I don't have a lot of high end or like all the high end for so, uh, for some instruments so that I can have the hi-hats breathe more. Let me get rid of the hi-hats. You need those hi-hats. Obviously this is a work in progress with WIP um, but you want those high, hand, high ends to be able to make sure that you can ha let your song breathe you want your song to be able to breathe um, there's <laughs> I just re I, for <laughs> I just oh my gosh now my eye is bugging up I just realized that I was recording a Mitch Jones video. I completely forgot about that. Uh, I was just explaining music, just stuff, music, like how to mix better. I mean, the mix is fine in here, so what I'm saying doesn't really match up fully. I was just mainly starting with the compression, how I feel like the snare is compressed. But it sounds nice. I'm just. The, what the snare r reminded me mainly of. Uh, so, <laughs> let's continue this video into probably an area where I probably trimmed down most of what I was saying just now. So I'm sorry for that really bad explanation of what I was trying to show with mixing, but yeah, no in between. We're in the middle of it. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I like that. I do like that. I don't know what I feel is missing with the drums. It does crash, which sounds nice, but I don't know if it, like, should... With the hi-hat, or if it should be open, or slightly open. That I can't change a thing, so I gotta let it be. My Even now, if, even if you put the double time hi hat right here, it would work. It would really work. It would really work. Yeah. Oh, I love that you have a bass line right here. And then the crashing, which I really like. I really love when it's crashing. Although the crashing doesn't fully sound realistic, but same with the drum fills, but Wait, is that actually Mitch Jones singing that? I feel like that's Paula singing. Is that Mitch Jones singing that? The breaths there. My anxiety. I hate it. <clears throat> that really works. Really good vocal uh, performance. I really like that. Mitch can sing. Yeah, at the end it sounds more Mitch, uh, more like. What I've heard from Mitch Jones from the past two song or uh, from the singles and Time Machine, <clears throat> that's what I, yeah, it's really good vocal performance. Uh, really good on the guitar. I really like that bass part. Makes me think of Rage Against the Machine for some reason. Like it's building to something. One thing that I hope that. <clears throat> Why am I am I losing my voice? Uh, one thing that I hope that Mitch does in his next music project is have real, uh, actual, uh, actual recorded in drums. Unless he's trying to have a trap, a more trap uh, way of doing his music or with the drums, then that's whatever. But. Uh, if you're trying to do more realistic sounding drums, I would say do more realistic, or not realistic, but actual have, what am I trying to say? I, I know what I'm trying to say. I do know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say that next his next project, he should have recorded drums. Uh, these program drums, mainly in the fills, they sound so just not real. Uh, Cause it sounds just it's the the volume is the same velocity every time it's hit. Like right there, the the fill seems pretty fake. Yeah, the the vocal performance and the uh, really in this song, the this and Time Machine have really good uh, vocal performance. The guitar has been consistent and good. So there's nothing for me to really say about the guitars right now other than them just sounding really good. That's pretty much what I have to say about this track. The drums, I can really sound, uh, I can really hear the programmed drums in this song. The guitar riff is pretty nice. Uh, the bass line is, uh, in the midpoint, it really wraps the whole sound, song together. All around, it's pretty good. Um, and then here's one of the solos or singles. Uh, perfect Let Five, it's even right here. Yeah, just, you know, I want to hear what it sounds like uh, in context. Track four, by the way. If you, could, if you couldn't see. Thank you.
wonder. Oh, here's the Kala part. This is where. I'll never forget when I met you. You saved me from myself. Without you, I'd be so doomed. You were so far away, little baby. I was losing my words when you fainted me. Now we can't be together. We still can't think that you asked me to be yours forever. That day, see you again. That part in the music video where he's just looking at the dog when he's saying, Look, look in my eyes. I also like the trap uh, part for Kala's part. Oh, it's a panning uh, trap I have. Really keep this moving. Really add that high end so that the crashes don't have. Yeah, that stairs pretty far back in the. Sorry for all the yawning, I don't know why I'm yawning so much. I really like this EP, this EP is really good. Is my nose red? Wow, it looks really red in my webcam. Uh, I really like this. I do really like this. Uh, the one thing that I would say is the least appealing part of this is the intro because of the guitar riff. Mainly because of how the guitar sounds, I would say. But Kala's part is the one that I know the most. I don't know why. I don't know Mitch's as much. But. I don't know if I'm correct because I don't know who did, who did what. But I, I know he played the guitar, but uh, Kala did. But I'm assuming that he mixed the songs. Um. I wouldn't be surprised whatsoever, uh, but he's pretty cool. I really like this, uh, what he's been doing with the, with this EP. Mitch is doing really good on his vocals. Like, I mean, I've heard about in Miz's stream how he's just like nonstop, just, just yelling his lyrics with his door open as well. So that's kind of funny in my opinion. I also really like that uh, simply feature. It, oh, it just, ooh. it just makes me so happy. Oh, one thing I gotta say is my my Dito on Dito remix. So, I messaged uh, simply. I also messaged Ludwig one time when I. Made a song for him. I try to make uh, some stream the streamers music before. I mean, I I, I like making they, they were, it was fun. But I made a Dito and Dito remix. I just have to say this out here since it's the perfect moment for me to say it. Um, simply, uh, I made a I made a Dito and Dito remix. He said it was really nice. Uh, and so, like, he, I sent him it. He did, uh... What happened to this? My link is broken. Where's all of this pop smoke? I've never listened to him. That, oh. I also made him for Jack the Alien on his birthday. It's made really fast. Yeah, the mixing is really bad. Anyways, I made it for him. He reposted it, which is really cool. I really like that, that he did that. Uh, sorry for the flashbang, by the way. I know SoundCloud doesn't have their dark mode. I don't like that. Uh, but he said he'll react to it on his stream. And I was expecting it. I watched the full stream the next day. And the next day. Nothing came to, of it. I went to a, on an alt account on my on Twitch. And I was talking about it to make to try to see if I could jog his memory about, oh, I told him I was going to react to it on stream, but it, all he did was like, oh yeah, I listened to that remix. It was really good. And I, I just sat there like, dude, are you serious? You told me you're going to react to it on stream. I was so just, I was disappointed. I was upset because I'm like, 
Dude, this is my one chance. But what can you do? He forgot. It's not. It's not my fault. It's not his fault. Anyways, I just wanted to put that in there uh, because I remembered about it. But yeah, if you do, sorry for the flashbang again. It hurts my eyes as well. But if you do want to listen to it, uh, I'll probably have a link to it in the description or a card like up there or whatever it is. I don't know. Perfect vibe. Uh, it's my least favorite song on the EP. Time Machine is my favorite so far. And I've also heard Now That You're Gone because that was his first song and it was for Byron. Anyways, I want to hear hear it when it in context. So, uh, yeah, track five, took for granted. Uh, let's go. Yeah, I really like the energy in this song. I really do. Another bass part. Really reminds me of Golden Finger for some reason. Gold finger, golden finger, whatever. Yes, Tom Hart. I'm so confused of why he didn't uh, tag him in this. It really upsets me. Yeah, this one is my second favorite so far. That is really good. This starts off with a what? To this whole just energy just rushed right into it and I love that I love that for the passion. I love the energy of the guitar and then the, the drums of course singing that Kala does in this is really good it's just the vocal performance in this whole EP is really just it's up there. I know I'm gonna replay re this 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 uh, EP. I'm definitely gonna replay. Obviously, there's flaws in this, as all music does have. Even though some ha like hide their flaws really well, like to pimp a butterfly. I know that's a completely different genre, a completely different artist, and pff, I don't know why I compared it to that. Anyways. This is a really solid track. I love the the palm muted uh, strumming. Let me just grab my guitar. It's probably out of tune, and I'm not a great guitar player, but I don't know how much you'll be able to hear it. I'm not a good guitar player. It's also probably out of tune. So there's. There's my explanation as if you were you are a baby and you do not understand how a guitar works whatsoever. Um, and without that with that out of the way, we can now move on to another segment of that song I want to talk to talk about. Yeah, the time machine is definitely gonna be stuck in my head and I know it. I know it. There's, without a doubt, it's going to be stuck in my head. Okay, the, the, the drum fills, 
sound really nice in this. Assuming that they're uh, programmed, I like the velocity change. Yeah. Another bass part. Don't, 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 don't. Really done well. Really good. Really well done. Oh yeah, this is the part I really like. It's the toms. I really like this intro with the trap drums. I'm just glad they're not using FL's uh, limiter. Let me just show you why it's so bad. I've been looking at this wrong, but even still, the limiter is so trash. Holy cow. I feel sorry that FL does this to your song. So you can see at the top left, I bring this down to a negative 0.3 decibels. That's what you want to have for your limiter. It starts at 0%, or just 0 decibels, which I don't really have a problem with. Uh, but the thing about this limiter is that it just, when it pushes a sound down, it pushes it down. I'm, I don't know why it starts you with this awful limiter. Uh, Ableton has a really good limiter compared to this. Oh my god. God, I'm sorry for you guys on FL Studio. I know you can change what your default thing is, but oh my gosh. God, because I can't, I, I don't want to make a beat to have an example because making a beat, I would have to make a whole on song to show what I'm talking about. Because this, it's the, for the master volume. It's on the master channel. Yeah, I don't know. My, I was going to explain something, but I realized that the limiter, it's not uh, what I thought it was. For some reason, I was thinking it's like negative six decibels, and it's trying to push that really down. But instead, it's at zero, and it's just really bad in general. It's not because of the default setting. It's just how the limiter is. It's really bad. Uh, so for you FL users, just get rid of the limiter completely and just turn down the volume of stuff so that it doesn't clip. For the things that are clipping, uh, just put a limiter on that specific channel. Or it does. I don't think it would matter if it's the fruity limiter uh, for that specific sound. But if you really don't want to trust, if you really don't trust the limiter in the first place, just find a new limiter, uh, not to sound forehead, but find a free limiter. Uh, it's probably it's most likely way better than what FL gives you. Uh, if not, you can buy a limiter. Waves has one for forty dollars. Right now it's thirty. Fab filter, I've heard really good things about it, but I'm pretty sure it's really expensive. Yeah, it's 200. It's not just a master thing or like a limiter. It's also an EQ, it looks like. I think I'm wrong. I, my, I don't know. I would suggest getting a new limiter because the, the FLs is really bad. If not, and you have Ableton, you're set in stone. You don't need a new limiter. If you want one that looks fancy like a uh, fab filter and it's probably a lot better because it allows you to see what you're looking at, that's took for granted. Now to the last song, which has it's been an hour for this six song EP, um, which I don't mind uh, talking about music. Now that you're gone, a song for Byron, the final song, song six, I really like this song when I heard it. I haven't heard it in about a month or two. Uh, mainly I listened to it when it first came out. Chilling outside, you were 
peering out your window And I saw you and I didn't know I didn't know what to say I wish I walked up to you I wish I had asked if you were okay Now I just sit here with all of this regret I feel like the one to blame the drums sound really good. Rattata. Dude, I love the snippets of his voice in this. As a friend, was a the 808 and the hi the trap hi hat and snare are really good here. Oh, I forgot about this. The Dr. K. Uh, Distortion is definitely really strong there. How long will this last? And what's the big fast? I wish I was back in 2015 when it was so easy and everything felt like it has so much meaning. And there's not much to say. I miss you every day. And I'm lost without you. I love the guitar right here, and the the vocals pitched up an octave. Now that I think about it, it might not be that, and it's probably just Kala's voice. You try so hard to protect him and, and take away what happened to him, but you just can't do it. I really feel like this. The they put the same guitar sample in Perfect Vibe, but it fits so much better here. If it's if so, because the dun 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 to resolve the the riff. It's a close call between Now That You're Gone and Time Machine for my favorite. It starts strong and it ends stronger. Yeah, they're different. It's just I thought they were the same for some reason. They sound really similar. They're just really close to each other. I really like this EP. It's definitely a EP that I really love. And I <laughs> poke loves. I love, I love poke. So anyway, of course I'm gonna follow you. Yeah, I really like that album. Or pff, album EP. This EP is so good and I highly suggest that you support Mitch Jones and what he's doing because he's really good at it he is really good at it yeah there's n there's not many negatives the negatives that I've pointed out are pretty minuscule uh, are pretty minuscule compared to what I hear in the rest of the EP Mitch outdid himself Kala, 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 Kala did a really, he, I haven't heard his, uh, his own work, but it's really well done. I'm really happy that this EP is out because I really love it. You know what? Just because of that, I'm going to listen to his latest song, Take It Away. Wish I could take it away. Love the bass. I wish it stayed open hi hat at this section. 
Oh, that China symbol. Oh my god. Yep. Kyla, he does some pretty good stuff. I know I haven't finished it, but... I don't know. It sounds really good. It sounds really similar to what this is. This China symbol, obviously, it sounds a lot better than the crash symbols that he was using in this. It's a really good EP. I don't even know if I should do like a rating system in this because I don't have anything else to rate it off of because I haven't done a reaction video before. From my first listen, I would say an eight. From the two singles that I heard, Not That You're Gone is my favorite. Um, and yeah. Perfect Vibe is my least favorite song, and Now That You're Gone and Time Machine are my two favorite songs. I really love the Simply addition to this, uh, or feature. I love what Kala does, and I love what Mitch does. Um, support them with this project because it's really good. Uh, one thing that just annoys me is how Kala is not uh, even tagged on the EP. It's, it just annoys me. Um, but yeah, oh, Slipknot, look at that. Oh, Tim and Paula, pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> I was looking at different Simply, because uh, I'm like, oh, another artist with the name is Simply. Yeah, really good EP. That's what's up. That's Miss Jones. That's what's up. Fuck yeah. Of course, that's what's up is the top one, even though... Sup y'all, it's me. Wait, no, go again is be is 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 the most. Wow, whatever. Really like it, and I am stalling so much. Support this project. I've said that a few times already. Yeah, I'm just gonna say the outro since I can't. I'm trying to think of stuff to say, but I don't know what I'm tr uh, trying to say because I don't know what to say. Thank you for watching this video. Um, I really enjoyed this EP, and I hope that you guys did too. Um, I hope you guys support this EP and whatever Miss jo uh, Jones does in the future because this is really promising. Please leave a thumbs up. That probably does nothing. I don't even know what it does. I'd probably just subscribe rather than like. Like? Who does that? Not me. Weird. Anyways, that's about it. My name is Vexillion and I have an EP... I shouldn't announce that. I have music, uh, some singles out uh, that I've released uh, in the past uh, that you should <laughs> check out. Uh, it's not this rock stuff that uh, Mitch is doing. It's uh, electronic, and that's about it. My name is Vexillion, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.